Alright, so welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel. So let's go talk to the instructor, uh, Beatrix. See if we can find out what her military medical officer nickname was. I've delivered all the permission slips. Hmm, good work. How was everyone? Uh, pretty much exactly the way you described. That made things a lot smoother, actually. I'm glad to see that there's still some use for this old woman's wisdom. Now that you're here, why not have some tea? Have a seat. I'll prepare something special to thank you for your help. <laughs> well, it'd probably be rude to turn her down. I'd love some, thanks. Now, this is delicious. It's my special blend. It takes the fatigue right out of you. You've actually learned a lot of... Uh, learned about a lot of herbs in their... Of the herbs in there in my class. Is that so? This tea and Sharon's are so different that I can't even compare the two. I almost forgot how fun it is to have tea with someone so young. So tell me, how are things going in Class 7? You're all so busy these days. Uh, that we are, but our concert is really coming together now. Uh, we're doing the final fittings for our costumes today, and tomorrow will be a full day of rehearsal. We're definitely cutting it close, but we're all feeling motivated. There's no way this won't be a success. Oh my, such confidence. Just make sure you don't work so hard you end up having to pay me a visit. <laughs> well, we'll try not to. She really does care about all the students on campus. She even knew a lot about the ones who forgot their slips. Class 7 has accomplished a great deal over the course of a year. It's always a pleasure to learn what you're up to. That said, it seems like you also have a knack for finding yourselves in trouble. <laughs> I'm certainly not opposed to Instructor Sarah's methods. But she could stand to be a bit more protective. You might be onto something, but that attitude has helped us out before. Which reminds me, you've known her for a while now, haven't you? I've heard that you used to be a medical officer in the army. Is that where your paths crossed? <laughs> something like that, yes. Well, I suppose you're all so young that you should get in trouble now and then. But keep in mind that pushing yourselves beyond your breaking point to accomplish something you can't will only end badly. Just like it did for her all those years ago. Understood. Gracious me, I didn't mean to lecture you like this. Teacher's habit, I guess. And it appears our tea has gotten cold. Perhaps that's a sign that we have to bring this lovely conversation to an end. I suppose so. But it was nice to hear what you had to say, and I'll take it to heart. Glad to hear it. This is your first Academy Festival, so I hope you'll enjoy the whole thing, preparation included. I will. Thank you again. And what was your nickname? Ah! Damn it. Our, um, an ecologum. So let's see what that is. Always curious about new quartzes. 80 defense. Bah! Useless. Who needs defense? Oh, we have golden bell. I didn't see what that one does either. Halves delay after using space arts. Also useless. We don't really use space arts. So, now what? We've done everything. There's nothing left to do. I have no idea. Uh, well, let's head over to the building. Maybe we'll get a prompt or something. Excellent. Hello, Reen Schwarzer speaking. Yo, it's me. Oh, hey, Crow. Is something wrong? It's not like you to call me out of the blue. Well, we've run into a bit of a problem. Turns out our outfits for the concert will be arriving late. They said the earliest they can get them delivered is sometime tomorrow morning. That's not great. I mean, it'll be hard to do tonight's dress rehearsal without the actual dress. My thoughts exactly. But don't you worry, though. I'm just as crafty as I am handsome, so I've got a plan. Wanna head out and pick them up for us in person? Uh, Crow, I think the two of us need to go over the definition of plan sometime. <sighs> you ordered them from the boutique in Heimdall, didn't you? Yeah, someone over there is putting the finishing touches on them right now. They'll be done by this evening, so our whole delivery problem solved if you just head over there. I do it myself, but I've got some stuff I need to get done. Got it. I'll take care of it. 
I'll head to the station right now. Wouldn't want to miss the train on something this time sensitive. Whoa there, the train? Come on, man. Don't tell me you forgot about Jellica's parting gift. Oh, oh. You're right, it'd probably be faster to get to Heimdall by, ba by bike than by train. Okay, bike it is. Besides, if I cut down on my travel time, I can put more work into the festival. <laughs> Even when I give you something cool to do, you find a way to make it dorky. Oh yeah, uh, you should take someone with you too. You're bringing 11 outfits back here, and that's not exactly going to be easy on your own. That's true. It'd be a lot easier with the sidecar too. Okay, leave it to me. Cheers! Okay, I guess I've got a little more wiggle room to help out around here. I'll head to the engineering club to ask George to lend me the bike once I'm done. Um... Well, we don't have anything to do. We've done all our requests, so... Let's go to the engineering building. I miss Angelica. I'm sure she'll make another appearance, though. She's not done. I just want to take the bike. Give me the bike. Why is it purple? Was it always purple? Hey, Reen, I heard everything from Crow. I just finished up with the maintenance on the sidecar, too, so you're welcome to use it whenever you'd like. Thanks, I'll do that. And eh, Angie left it to you, so think of it as your bike now. You can take it out for a spin whenever you feel the need for speed. Thanks, George. So yeah, sometimes you'll see an error show up here. Right, so then what do I do? Here's Angelica's bike. Alright, let's uh... Well... Do we have to pick someone to go with us, though? I kind of want Emma to come with us. Let's see if we can ask her. I'm not sure how this works. Oh, that reminds me. Tone down the material. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Can I bring anyone with me? <laughs> Alright, let's just go back to the engineering building. I guess we have to leave, I don't know. Maybe we'll get the option to who we want to bring with once we decide to leave. I don't want to go by myself. Okay, looks like everything's in working order. Hmm, Crow did say I should take someone else along to give a hand. Not sure how busy everyone is though. Let's see, who should I try asking first? Emma! Alright, might as well see if they're free. Hey, it's Reen. I've got a little favor to ask. feels so nice. I expected this to be like riding those horses back in the highlands, but it's completely different. They're both a lot of fun. Are you sure it was okay to come with me though? Weren't you busy helping out with the literature club? No, it's fine. We're almost done preparing the short story collections we'll be selling tomorrow anyway. Besides, I'll be wearing one of these outfits, so I can certainly make the time to pick them up with you. True, you're going to be right in the spotlight, too. Don't remind me. Um, by the way, what sort of outfit will I be wearing? Trust me, you don't need to worry about a thing. I checked all of Crow's designs myself. But it won't be too revealing, will it? Uh. 
Green, why aren't you saying anything? Uh, there's nothing to worry about. It's just revealing enough. <laughs> okay. Well, she said it won't be too revealing, so she's okay with it being a little revealing, right? And she kind of expects it if she's asking if it's revealing. Or maybe it's just because she knows how Crow is. Sorry to make you kids come all the way to pick these up. I think you'll be pretty happy with the way they turned out, though. Fantastic, I can't wait to see them. Thank you for making them for us in such a short amount of time. <sighs> this was no sweat compared to what Crow put me through last year. He had me working like a madman. Last year's concert was great, though, so you can bet I'll be there to see, you kids, uh, see if you kids can top that. Oh. By the way, are you the girl on vocals? I knew your measurements, but now that I see you in person, you're really gonna knock the fellows dead in that outfit. Uh, I mean, just what sort of design did you end up going for? Well, you'll see when we get back. Oh, that you will, Emma. Actually, I haven't seen it yet, Emma, so we'll both be surprised. bird. What the? Rain? What's going on, Rain? You look like you've been thrown for a loop. Oh, <laughs> it's nothing. There was just a strange bird on that lamppost over there. What was strange about it, exactly? Well, I've never seen a bird with feathers that color before. It was a really deep blue, almost like a lapis lazuli. What? W where did it go? Did you see in which direction it flew? Uh, it flew off around the corner to the west. Stay right here, I'll be back in five, no, ten minutes. Er, I'm really, really sorry about this. You can go back to the academy without me if you have to. Huh, well I'm glad I brought Emma along. What's gotten into her? I guess she's secretly been a bird watcher all this time. <laughs> Don't you two make a cute couple. Oh, hey lady, Katolde, uh, or... Katildi? Katildi? I don't know. Uh, v I mean, Misty. It's been a while, hasn't it, Reen? And thanks for not using my real name. If people here in the capital were to overhear you, I'd be drowning in fans in no time flat. <laughs> sure, mum's the word. Fancy meeting you here, though. I'm guessing you're here to shop? You guessed it, the store does have a branch in Trista, but this one has a much better selection. How about you? What brings you out here with suitcases in tow? Wait, did you just break up with that girl with the glasses? The way she ran off, I feel like I should be welcoming you into the Lonely Hearts Club. No, it's nothing like that. I don't know what got into her. And she's not my girlfriend. No, because Laura is. So, we about collecting our outfits? Wow, a concert, huh? That sounds like a blast. I'd love to drop by the festival and see it myself. I might not be able to go if I can... I might be able to go if I can free up a bit of space in my schedule. <laughs> It'd be great to have you. Although, I can't imagine a professional like you would be terribly impressed. Oh, don't be silly. Great music comes from the heart. 
I take it that girl I saw earlier is on vocals then? How can you tell? There's just something special about her. She has a certain aura. Oops, lost track of time. I better get going. Well, bye for now. Be sure to tune in tomorrow. Of course, I always do. Wait, tomorrow's Friday, right? The only broadcast they only broadcast oven time on Sundays. Green. Oh, Emma. So, uh I'm sorry for running off like that all of a sudden. That wasn't like me at all. Hey, no worries. Besides, strange behavior is part of the package with you. I've seen you deep in discussion with a cat. Running off after a strange bird seems pretty normal, honestly. That doesn't make me feel any better. But I'm still really sorry to have made you wait. Really, don't worry about it. But I am curious. Did you ever manage to find that bird? Unfortunately not. I tracked it pretty far into the city. But there are so many people that I lost its trail. I see. Huh. Whatever she's doing, it sounds different from when I can sense someone's presence. Anyway, we should head back to Trista. I'm sure everyone's waiting for us. Oh. You're right, we should. We haven't even tried our outfits on yet. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> I can't wait to see how you look in yours. What do you mean by that? Just what kind of outfits are these? Now maybe we shouldn't have brought Emma along, because we already have her capped out with Link experience. We have a ton of people already capped out though, so I don't know. What? What? Oh right, because the suitcases. Wow, these are actually really nice. Huh. They're a bit more revealing than I would have chosen, but at least the design itself is reasonably tasteful. Yep, not bad. And the black makes us look all classy, too. Oh, what am I even doing in this getup? Wow, you look... stunning. That's seriously hot. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have trusted the boys. I think it's perfect, and letting your hair down adds just the right amount of mystique. Nice work on the styling, Sharon. <laughs> Thank you, my lady. I think you all look beautiful. Wow, you all look even better than I was hoping. Well, well, you all look the part of dashing gentlemen yourselves. It seems like you took your inspiration from the traditional dress of the Imperial Court. You look like rejected princes from a children's book. But it kind of works. <laughs> I feel a little bad for you guys. Your uniforms don't have those little personal touches like ours do. 
Well, considering the time we had to work with, we had to settle for all us guys just wearing the same thing. Eh, no one's gonna care what the guys are wearing. It's better to bring out each girl's charms and let the boys just sort of fade into the background. That's called knowing your audience, boys and girls. <laughs> I see how it is. We're all different heights and have different hair colors, so I think we're better off with a standardized look. I'm no stranger to cuffs, epaulets, and overdone embroidery. But it looks preposterous to see you wearing such finery, even if it is just a costume. Hey, I didn't ask for this! What sane man would want to dress like a noble? Besides, I hope you haven't forgotten that we'll be singing in these outfits, together! Sadly, despite my earnest attempts, I haven't. Alright, are you ready to practice the night away? We've only got a day and a half left, and that's if you include today. No time to waste. And that's why none of us are leaving this building until we can do a perfect run-through of our whole set. I don't think he's going to take no for an answer. You're like a drill sergeant when it comes to music. I hope you're not starting to take after Nightheart. Uh, we're not sleeping tonight, are we? <laughs> I'll be sure to bring you all a nourishing dinner later this evening. That's not the problem here. Well, I suppose there's not much more we can do than buckle down and give it our best shot. Fine. I suppose I'll just have to cast my shame to the wind and go through with it. Aww. It's not like I want to wear an outfit like this, but I might never get a chance again. So come on, Emma. Just curtain and bear it. <laughs> Emma's great. She looks good though. I'm pretty yeah, yeah, she looks good. Oh no! I think we broke Emma! Maybe we ought to leave her be for a while. I wonder if we can unlock those costumes and use them. It'd be pretty cool. Um uh, alright, let's continue on. Uh, the first thing the next morning, we got together and rehearsed our performance again and again. Again, 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 again. Meanwhile, preparations for the festival continued uh, steadily under Student Council President Toa's watchful eye. Now is perfection itself. Indeed, victory is as good as ours. 
Meanwhile, our rivals in the other classes put the finishing touches on their own contributions to the festival. However... Ho ho ho! It looks like this year's festival will be even more lively than last year's. An ill wind blows from the east, and ominous clouds still hang over the fair country. But young people have their whole future ahead of them. They ought to pursue their dreams with excitement, with passion. Just as they always have, and as they likely always will. Ah, I certainly agree. It's good to be young. I was once full of vim and vigor, so were you. Prince Oliver, well, he never really lost the spark. Even his highness and that fool Osborne were boys once. Indeed. I'm back for my patrol. Thank you, Sarah. It looks like everything will be finished by the end of the day. Instructor Beatrix, my apologies. I had no idea you were here. You really don't need all the formality or salute for that matter. You've accomplished more than enough since we first met to stand proudly on equal footing with me. But you saved my life. Kinda hard to trump that. And if it weren't for you, I wouldn't have the opportunity to join the guild either. <laughs> it's hard to believe it's been ten years since then. My, how time flies. <laughs> You're quite the popular figure on campus. Weren't you also Nightheart's superior at one point? With all due... Apologies to Heinrich. Perhaps I ought to put you forth as my replacement when I retire. I'm all for that. I couldn't possibly. Still, considering the direction this country seems to be headed, I'm worried about what will become of this academy in the next year. So am I. Have you heard anything from Major Nightheart, sir? Not thus far, unfortunately. He did state his intent to return in time for the festival, however. I see. I've been hearing some concerning reports from the guild and Crossbell recently. I don't doubt it, we're likely on the cusp of a significant change, whatever that change may turn out to be. But in spite of what the future may hold, our duty remains the same as it's always been. Yep. Well said, Instructor Beatrix. I ask of you, Adios, and Dreykel's the Lionheart, grant these young people your protection and your courage and guide them as they enjoy this festival, that no harm may come to them. That's a little ominous. At the time, we were so caught up in the festival preparations that we had no way of knowing that, behind the scenes, countless adults were looking out for us, helping ensure that we'd get to enjoy the fruit of our hard work. That was our best yet. I feel like we were really giving everything we had with that one. Ah, oh, I need a rest. The only question now is whether we can do that in front of a hall full of people. Don't worry, we'll be fine. We prepared as much as we can. It's all in the goddess's hands now. <laughs> Maybe you're right. But when you put it that way, it sounds like no matter how much work we put in, it all comes down to luck in the end. If that's the case, we'll just have to coerce luck into staying on our side. Nice work, guys. I think we're right where we want to be. You play like you did just now for the actual concert, and we'll be golden. Thanks for all your help, Crow. If you're satisfied, I think our audience will be too. <sighs> what time is it even? Only 3 p.m. Wow, I thought it was evening already. <laughs> well, no one could accuse us of not being focused enough. I just want to go back to the dormitory and bury my face in my pillow. Rest? Oh, no, 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 no. No time for that now. See, the best concerts always have two aces in the hole. An unexpected surprise and an encore. Now that we've finally got the basics down, we can try pulling off something that'll pave our road to victory. What? Surprises? An encore? What? 
Please tell me you're just kidding. You are, right? Wait, we're not seriously doing that. I thought you were just joking. Now, hold on just a minute. You aren't seriously suggesting that we add another song, are you? Ding ding! He can be taught! Don't worry your pretty little heads, though. As soon as you hear what I've got in mind, you'll be all in on this. I've got a nice, simple tune in mind that everyone's heard, and most people probably even know the lyrics. Anyway, we haven't got much time to prep, so how about we get right down to business? Uh, you're a slave driver. Uh... Ah, you killed her! Hang in there, Emma. Uh, I think Crow's even more fired up about this than anyone else. He's taking us for a ride one way or another, so we might as well just strap ourselves in. Aw, oh, poor Emma. <laughs> so they're doing three songs. Hmm. Ah, it's already nine o'clock. Time for bed? So they practice for another six hours. I don't know if that's enough time though to learn a whole new song and performance. But they'll make it work. Still hard at work, I see. Oh, hey George. It sounds like you managed to finish all the difficult stuff, huh? Yep, it wasn't easy though, but I think it'll be worth it in the end. This year's festival is shaping up to be even more fun than last year's. Really? <laughs> You're worried about Angie, aren't you? Yeah, I'm sure she'll come through for us, but with what's happening in Crossbell right now and all the terrorist attacks in the last couple months, it sounds like this country's got some tough times ahead of it. I've started to think maybe she might not make it. Always a possibility, I guess. But you know what? Even knowing that, I don't feel worried. Thinking of how much fun we're going to have these next two days, I just can't imagine Angie's miss missing. Uh, I just can't imagine Angie missing a good party. Yeah, you're right. You really do. Really do what? Nah, never mind. Oh yeah, it looks like Class Seven's still at it. I wonder if they're still practicing. Hmm, I don't know. I looked in on them this afternoon. And it seemed like they were basically done for the day. Still, they got Crow as their producer, so, you know, there's always that little bit of worry in the back of my mind. Now that you mention it... Oopsie, looks like we're a little late. Reen? What happened to you guys? You look exhausted. I, I can't believe we made it through... made it through alive. That was like torture. I'm so tired, I'm gonna call Lammy! Don't. You. Dare. Celine. Grandmother. Emma, you just can't sleep out here. At least summon up the energy to get back to your bedroom first. Mm, are you all okay? I'm finished, all finished with the concert rehearsal then? <laughs> Just about. We were cutting it pretty close though. Now all that's left is to see how it all goes in front of the audience. I'm sure we'll all be fine, a wind of blessing will blow on us. You look like you rehearsed till you dropped, literally. <laughs> you all should feel proud. I've seen how hard you've worked. That's great to hear. I can't wait to see you guys play live, I've got a feeling you're set to impress. Oh. Wow. Oh. It looks like they've got all the decorations put up now. You can really feel the excitement in the air. Looks like it's going to be even livelier than last year. That's fine by me. 
George and Toa, thank you both so much for all the work you put in helping the festival go forward. Same to you, man. You guys have been uh, pedal to the metal all the way, especially these last couple days. I'm really... I'm ready to have some fun tomorrow. Make sure you let loose. You've earned it. Well... Uh. I think what we'll do is we will take a break here. Uh, next time we'll go chat up with a couple of our classmates, and uh, then we'll continue on with the festival tomorrow. So that should be exciting. So as always, thanks for watching.